Putumayo Kids is really trying to find universal music that people of all ages can enjoy. It gives a child and a parent a great way together to learn about a genre of music and a culture. A global playground where kids could come together. To hear and understand and appreciate music from all around the world. Well, Putumayo Kids began as a result of having gotten so much positive feedback from parents about the music that we were putting together on our compilations. And one day someone suggested, why don't you just put together a series of world music compilations for children. The first collection was World Playground. And over the years, we've really created a series of collections, all of which have different themes, African Playground, Latin Playground, Caribbean Playground, Reggae Playground, and even Folk Playground. I think the idea is that it's a kind of adventure uh, for children to discover other places and music is one of those great ways to kind of transport children. It's all about exploration, it's all about discovery and I think that comes through in each album that we put out. Well the music is chosen through a process that involves obviously a great deal of research. In some cases we travel to the countries to actually research the music more closely. Every week we receive scores of CDs. Uh, we travel quite a bit to music conferences, festivals, and we're constantly seeking out interesting music. We'll go to a school or an after-school program and sit down with a bunch of different kids and have them vote on which songs that they like. So we can kind of see what's missing in the song and what else we need to look for. Um, it's a really great way to figure out if our music selection works or doesn't work. What we try to do is integrate the kind of educational side of learning about other cultures with the music. Kudemeyer Kids has two activity kits, the World Playground Activity Kit and the Latin Playground Activity Kit. They each come with a CD, a passport journal, and then this booklet filled with activities for the teachers sort of to use as a prop for um, exposing kids to other cultures. And these activity kits have all sorts of plans inside that educate the children about the music, about the artists, about the places that these come from, you know, where in the world, where on this map is this place. And, you know, teachers can take these activity kits and bring them into the classroom and really show the children this is where it came from, this is why it is different, these are the people that make it different. Our liner notes explain about each song, what it's about, you know, where the artist is from, a little bit about the culture, and they're also multilingual. All of the liner notes are in four languages, English, French, Spanish, and German. And what we find is it's a great way for kids to not only learn about the cultures and the music, but it's also a chance for them to learn other languages in the process. Putumayo Kids CDs are sold in a lot of traditional outlets all over the United States and, and actually increasingly all over the world. And so I think what we've tried to do is find a lot of non-traditional outlets for the music. Places like gift shops, toy stores, zoos, museums. It's a way of creating a new and a positive musical experience for the retail shop. But the reality is we really try to work closely with our retail partners in an effort to try and connect the musical experience that they have in the store with the musical experience in a distant land. It's just great music. It has different cultures. Um, it has different rhythms. There's so much diversity in the music. It's always a great selection of music. Our customers love them. The kids love them. Putumayo Kids has put on some really fun and lively events in the past. Putumayo Kids has tried to create a way for children to experience music from around the world in a live setting. To be able to take an artist to a zoo or a museum so that kids can have a live experience from that culture is really something that we believe in. Parents will bring their kids to these concerts and everyone has equally just as much fun. Having families be able to come out and see an artist in person and move and dance together. It's really an inspiring experience. We just shot our first music video for Food My Out Kids, which is incredibly exciting. We went to Trinidad and filmed uh an artist that's been on several of the Putumayo Kids collections. His name is Ashiba. He's been on Reggae Playground, Caribbean Playground, and a new album called Animal Playground featuring animal songs from around the world. And it makes perfect sense. It's this harmony of showing the music and the artists live and also incorporating our artwork in an animated setting. Our signature artist, Nicola Heindel, when her artwork comes to life, it's really, it's really beautiful. Somehow she captures the connection between traditional and contemporary in a way that I think really is quite magical. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. That is what the doctor said.
I think one of the things that I've found over the years is that there's so much great music around the world that ha is rooted in the traditions of a culture. I think that's kind of what Putumayo Kids is about, introducing children to other cultures through great music from around the world. Again, children, you know you love to jump. So here we go. Five monkeys were playing on a bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mommy called the doctor, and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. 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 That is what the doctor said. Well, four monkeys were playing on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mommy called the doctor and the doctor said No more monkeys jumping on the bed 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 That is what the doctor said Well, three monkeys were playing on the bed One fell off and bumped his head Mommy called the doctor and the doctor said No more monkeys jumping on the bed 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 On the bed, one fell off and bumped his head. Mommy called the doctor, and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. 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 That is what the doctor said. Now, one monkey was playing on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Mommy called the children, and the children said, Yes, more monkeys jumping on the bed. Yes, more monkeys jumping on the bed. Yes, more monkeys. Jumping on the bed, yes, more monkeys jumping on the bed. That is what the children said. Yes, more monkeys jumping on the bed. That is what the children said. Yes, more monkeys jumping on the bed. That is what the children said. Oh, you're gonna keep on jumping, yeah? Uh huh.